as a facial recognition technology initially launched on iPhone 10. Face ID has been applied to latest iPhones, including iPhone 10R, 10S and 10S Max. With this amazing Face ID system, users can unlock their devices by scanning and confirming facial identity. Whether you are wearing a hat, putting on glasses, or you are in the dark, Please be noted that there is a slot on the display assembly. When assembling the phone, the fold of the speaker flex cable should be placed correspondingly in the slot to prevent the cable from getting broken, which will also result in the failure of Face ID. Next, we will disassemble the flat illuminator module and the dot projector, and find out the reason why Face ID can be so easily damaged. Pry open the glass cover with a blade. We can see that there are many holes on the flood illuminator that are arranged in a matrix of 11 by 11. The chip is connected to the circuit board with the help of gold wires. Once water damaged, these holes can be blocked and you will be faced up with face ID failure. Let's continue. As you can see, with thousands of components integrated, the composition of the flood illuminator module is very precise. Chip 2 is the flood illuminator. Chip 3 and chip 4 are proximity sensors that are responsible for receiving and transmitting respectively. The infrared light emitted from the two proximity sensors could be a single dot or a single set of dots. Chip 1 is an unencrypted chip since some repair technicians have replaced it before. Our guess is that chip 1 might be a boost chip or an EPROM chip. So chip 2, chip 3, or chip 4 might be the encrypted chip. Still, due to the difficulty of replacing, no one has verified that. Independent of each other, the three chips are indispensable. And this is what you should know about the flood illuminator module. Let's move on to the dot projector. The camera parts of iPhone 10 work in the same way as front cameras of other iPhone series. Now we will focus on the dot projector. The outer layer of the dot projector is sealed with resin and protected by metal welding techniques. Pay attention to these welding points. They can easily fall off once the phone is dropped. And once off, they cannot be restored. When disassembling, we need to cut open the outer metal cover at first. Then heat with a hot air gun and remove the resin with tweezers. Once the dot projector has been detached, we can see a crystal that looks just like a diamond lens. The infrared light is emitted from here, 
then reflected by the crystal. Its projection range is determined by the lens afterwards. Pry open the crystal. Here we can see the complete internal structure of the dot projector. Chip 1 is used to store data. Whereas Chip 2 acts just like a projector. We can see that there are thousands of dots arranged here. The infrared light is emitted from here. Since necessary power supply is needed for Chip 2 to work normally. Once water damaged, circuits here are most likely to get short. Which can also result in face Idaho failure. Please be noted that Chip 2 is exposed without black adhesive seal. So it can be easily damaged once water damaged or dropped. What's more, it also cannot be restored once damaged. And this is the internal structure of the dot projector. Let's continue with the crystal part of the dot projector. We can see that there is a concave lens and a convex lens on the crystal. And the two are made of glass. Once dropped, face ID can also be affected. you <laughs>